Welcome back everyone to another episode of Skyrim's Mod of the Day. I'm looking at quite a few immersion mods today, so you're in for a treat. Now up first is Return to Helgen. Now this basically restores and expands the um, city of Helgen or town and it does this by adding merchants and quests and even more stuff for your character to do. Now this is the original Helgen as you can clearly see, being destroyed not much to do in there basically, a few bandits to kill. Now this is important, for Helgen to actually be there all nice and restored, you need to have come to Solitude at least once, so if you're on a new character this will have happened. So come to Solitude and you'll get this message. You overhear a local telling his friend that Helgen has been rebuilt after the dragon attack. So there we go. Alright then, we are back at Helgen, and you can clearly see the place is still destroyed. Now, this is simply because the modder says Helgen has too many trigger points in there, trigger boxes, which apparently all involve quests, and if you change that, it'll mess up the game. So, it snits on well space, to quote the modder. I'm not a modder, so I don't know what that means. I assume it snits on like cell, so it's not connected, but it's in the same space. Um, so it doesn't mess anything up. But anyway, you'll notice it's got a gate now. You enter Helgen, and it's like any other city, loading screen, and we can enter. And look, there's life about. We've got guards, imperial soldiers, just like the game was before the dragon came yes. around and destroyed things. And we've got NPCs walking around. Need something? Yes. So overall, I think this is great. I mean, at least we've got Helgen back. I mean, yes, it's been destroyed by a dragon, but people rebuild. And it's a bit unrealistic to say that no one did rebuild Helgen. And it's got all these NPCs. We've got an inn. All these houses. I mean, overall, this is a nice little mod. Up next is a really cool mod called Bury the Dead. Now this mod does require the SKSE, but obviously by the title it lets you bury the dead people around Skyrim. Now on a few people like bandits and stuff, it kind of leaves the body behind, um, but that is being dealt with. But as always, with other more important NPCs or just other ones such as Heimskirt unique NPCs, all you have to do is equip the Bury the Dead spell, which you get upon installing the mod, and cast it. You see, his body has disappeared, and we're left with a nice little tombstone. Another awesome mod up next, which adds to the immersion of the game, and that is Illustrated Panels for Towns. Now, here we go. Yay, we've got a big massive panel with an illustrated design and wife run written on the top of it. Now this, in my opinion, is a lovely feature to have in the game. I mean, I think it's great. And the best thing about this mod is the modder actually included the PSD file, which is a Photoshop file for those who aren't aware, which means you can change the text at the top to suit your own language, which I think is awesome. Now we come to the atomic arrows and bolts, which does require dawn cap. Now to get like the these you're going to have to come to the Solitude Fletcher store and ah, talk to the merchant the inside a sharp mine. and a you will see the list of atomic arrows. Now buy a few of these because they've got different radiuses from what I have read. Now I think all these arrows do fail the same thing just with different times like 20 seconds, 60 seconds and the such, um, I'll try this one. I'm not sure what these two do, Six, I think it's 6,000 seconds, I'm really not sure. But um, either way, if it is where it says it is, an atomic bomb, then this seems it's going to be quite powerful. So let's come down here and test it real quick. Is this quick. about the stables? Watch it. All right, we've got a few of these fired into the ground. Let's see what happens. 
Holy fuck! Alright, that's quite powerful. And <laughs> that's the second explosion going off. That is powerful. Right. I have 200 undead right here, and I'm going to fire one of these nukes right into the ground. I'll fire a few actually. And let's see what happens to us. I'm curious to see if all 200 of these actually die. Now, the only reason I didn't die before is because I've got God Mode enabled. It will go into a cutscene, but... Um, yep, yep. That is fun. <laughs> 200 zombies, a second nuke, fired me even higher into the sky. And a third one. Holy shit. Alright, <laughs> uh, this mod is fun. <laughs> you can't say it's not. 200 drogers. Completely decimated. I'm alive. <laughs>